to the Chef Girl Naturally, Kimmy, aka Miss Kimmy. That's me. Um, this video here is basically going to be a get ready with me date night edition. I'm going to do a full face of makeup, how I would normally do my makeup. I know some people do theirs different, but this is just the way I do mine when I'm getting ready for date night. So, um, it's like a makeup tutorial. Kinda, not really, because like I told y'all in my other one, not a pro, not a makeup artist. It's just something I like to do. So, um, first things first, we're gonna start with my primers. And like I told you before, I use two to three. And I'm gonna show you which ones I use. So, this is the first one. My second one. And if you know this bottle, it's fancy. Alright, so let's get started. I'm gonna put on we'll do the fancy one first. Also while I'm doing this video, you know, just you know, do a little, you know, talking. A little more about me type video. Um what made me start my YouTube channel. So, your girl has had this YouTube channel since 2011, and I never posted on it, ever. So, this year, I said it's going to be a year for change. I decided to take it upon myself, finally, you know, step out of my comfort zone of not liking to hear my voice on videos or recordings or anything like that. Um, and post some videos on my channel finally. Um, I don't know what started me with the whole not liking to hear my voice on recordings. I don't know. I think it's because, like I said, I think it's because people said I sound completely different, just like they say I sound completely different on the phone versus in person. Not sure what that means. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wanted to do something for myself this year. Step out of that comfort zone. Same thing with, um, me cutting my hair. My hair was long. Not gonna lie. And don't get me wrong, I did catch a lot of slack for cutting my hair. People were upset. Um, if I can, I'll insert a video a picture of my hair before I cut it. Um Don't get me wrong, I love my hair. I loved my hair. I definitely did. But it comes a time where all that hair is too much. What I'm putting on right now is my setting powder, which is by Morphe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we're just going to, you know, set my primers before I continue on. But yeah, a lot of people were upset that I cut my hair. Um, I personally, okay, part of me cared, part of me did. Because I was like, it's hair, it'll grow back. Other people say this, oh my gosh, your hair was so long, why would you want to do that? I can't believe you would cut all your hair off like that. Were you going to do my hair every day? Is that... And then I have, like I told you, I have four girls. And we all have completely different hair textures. Imagine having to get up every morning to get your kids ready for school. Two out of the, I say, my baby, she don't count. But out of the older ones, my oldest one, she can do her own hair. But out of the other two, I mean, my hair, her, their hair, completely different and very 
very thick. So I don't have time to do all of that every single day. That is just crazy, if you ask me. Um, this here is just, it is a, it's for your eyebrows. It's a brow cream. I probably won't use this, but sometimes I do. These are the ones I use. Uh, I don't know if you can see that name there. But I have two of them, because it depends on what I'm going for. Yeah. So, I don't think I'm going to use those. I think I'll just use my brow pencil. And of course, Morphe. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows real quick. But yeah, like I was saying, I didn't have the time to do their hair and my hair every freaking morning. No. And that's where the whole, maybe I'll just block my hair. That was also an idea. And another idea was I was going to cut it shorter than what it is with the side shaved off. And a lot of people said no about that. Even my dad said no. He said, I'm glad I just stopped where I did. So I was like, okay. I guess y'all like my hair more than me. But y'all weren't the ones doing it or having to deal with it every single day. So I cut it. And then, you know, my goal for this for cutting my hair is I'm gonna let it grow back because at, for some reason when I um the last time I got my hair done professionally um my hair didn't grow back like I thought it would so that kind of was one of the things that bothered me was the fact that my hair did not grow back it was like at a standstill and I didn't like that either I'm sorry if y'all can hear the bumping upstairs. That's just my neighbors. I told y'all about that in my story time. So, yeah. Till you went on. Um, we're going to start with my eyeshadow in just a second. But let's do some concealer here under these brows. We don't want to use that one. Let's see if I have another one. That is actually open. So, we're going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one here. And the color Chestnut. I don't know what they're going to grow up on with this. But I know it's going to be more of a date night type thing. Um, so it might be a little bold when it comes to the colors. Sorry, I had to focus on these brows because my brows. Another story. Sometimes they don't cooperate like I want them to. I'm also just going to put some concealer as my base for my uh, eyeshadow. Because I noticed, like I told y'all the other one, the actual um, eyeshadow, eyeshadow primers, those don't work. I don't know what it is, but those do not work as primers for your eyeshadow. Or at least not for me. So we're going to go in. 
I don't know what color I'm going for. Um, but I am going to use my Mean Girls palette again. Like I said, it's one of my favorite ones that I have. Let's see. Let's go with like a pink eye, maybe. So a funny thing, a good a funny thing about this palette, if you can see the different colors, they actually have sayings from the movie in it. So the one I'm going to be using is this one right here. It is called uh, one, two, three, Burn Book. That's the one I'm going to use first. It's a nice pink. I'm going to use this one first. Oh, that's really pretty. Some of these colors I have not used yet in this book. In this um, eyeshadow book. But that is really pretty. I love that. I'm also trying not to talk too loud because my daughter is sleeping in the room. But anyways, back to another reason why I started my YouTube channel. I've always been a quiet kid. But my friends say otherwise. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm sorry about that job. But my daughter came in the room to ask me a question. But anyways, back to this video. And this look I'm going for. Um, let's see what color I want to use next. black but it also says life runner we're gonna do a little bit of that one look told y'all I don't know what I'm doing with this look so right now just looking like I got beat in the face this black is super pigmented. Mm. I'm gonna have to soften this up somehow. I'm not really sure how. Just go with it. If I'm quiet in this video, it's because I'm really concentrating on this look. Because I want it to turn out really pretty. But sometimes you never know. Um, let's go back to you know, more about me. A lot of things you might see on this channel is a reflection of what I like. But I also want your input on what you might like to see on this channel as well. Um, I'm not even going to lie, some of these colors look like they're not going to go together very well. But bear with me. I'm going to get it together. Um, oh, 
this. That's different. This color right here. This one here. It's called Awesome Time. Wow. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it does. Okay. Don't want too much of that. Yeah. yeah, able to, you know, teach some people, you know, or show someone, you know, some how to's of, you know, some of the natural hairstyles that I will be doing on this channel. Y'all, I'm telling you right now, this look up, this makeup looks great. I'm gonna pull it together. I'm gonna pull it together. Give me a minute. I'm gonna get it together. Just, just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. All right. Next. We're going to do my liquid liner, which is Elf. So, I have to look at my mirror up here. I think it's starting to storm. It definitely sounds like it's storming. yeah it's coming it's coming it's, it's coming along um this is my mascara i need a new one it's maybelline last sensational and the black one uh the color is if I'm not mistaken, it's the very black. So we're gonna put this on before I put my lashes on. Just as like a guide for the lashes. I love date nights. I really do. Because there's different things you can do. You can go bowling. You know. Watch a movie. Go out to eat, of course. One of the things I like to do. Uh, what else is there? Um, you can go to the park. Um, what else? I will say the park is my favorite. Um, you can do picnics at the park. Um, those are fun. Oh, pop myself in the eye, y'all. This um unit this unit here I wear this wig here. It's one of my favorite wigs. But let me tell y'all something. Your girl can't lay lace to save her life. <laughs> can't. Can't. Cause somebody teach but I would love for somebody to teach me. Because right now 
Mm-mm. It's crazy underneath this. So, let's see. What do we want to go with next? I've done my eyeliner. Oh, my eyeliner was just this. Uh, it's the LA Girl, LA Colors, the Jumbo Eye Pencil. I used this one, and then um, I also used this one. It's a lip and eye pencil, but um, I use it mostly. I use it mostly for my eyes. Um, I don't know what it is about the black underneath the eyes. Love it. It's pretty. All right, let's go into. Um, I have different um, foundations right here. So I don't know which one I want to use. The first one I have is the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD. This is in the color. Hmm. It does not say. It does not say. I should have kept the box. But either way, I have this one. I have the Anastasia and the 500C. But this might not be my color right now because I bought this one earlier this year. And then I have the foundation stick by Black Radiance and the color Cashmere. And then I also have just a little cheap brand, the LA Colors. It's the Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation and the color Mahogany. So sometimes I do mix my foundations. Um, I don't know which one I want to go for today. Hmm. I think we're gonna. Um, I think we're gonna mix. So let me get something to put this on. gonna mix the makeup forever don't judge me for what I'm putting this on but hey usually put in here so mix my foundations in but right now I don't so I'm gonna mix that one and the LA colors one together I'm gonna make sure you blend it really, really good. The reason I mix these is because I know that um, sometimes you know you have your winter shades, you have your summer shades, and sometimes my shade is a mixture. It's an in-between type thing, and I can't find it in the stores. Or either sometimes my makeup looks super orange, and I cannot stand that. I kind of messed up my brow a little bit. I don't like that. Let's try to fix it without messing it up. Keep going. I'm gonna move this to the side. 
because I don't need that right now. Um, we are gonna put on my lashes. I couldn't really decide what lashes I wanted to wear. Of course, I have my favorite lashes by my girl. But you know what, just for the sake of the video, I think I might just go ahead and put these on. They are super long, but I love them. But it's gonna bring my look together. I haven't done the rest of my face, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on now. glue I am using it's a duo you get it from like Walmart get my tweezers Hold on, it's gonna come together. Okay, make sure it's secure. I told y'all, it's gonna come together. Just go with me. Stay with me, y'all. Huh? All right. So, like I said before, I really don't do much contouring, but today I am. Oh, it's an elf. This here is my powder. I put my powder on. This is from Sephora in the color uh, Neutral Mocha. do too 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 much contour but um this is another thing I'm still learning is um contour so I just started doing this I watch people do it on YouTube which is why I learned a lot of the things I do Start up here by your up here. I'm gonna bring it down. And the color I'm using is the darkest one in here. Into my palette here and then we're going to get the color right here it says Wednesday and what we're going to do I'm going to put it under my, la my lash line my bottle lashes Also going to do a little concealer under my eyes just to like brighten it up a little bit. But
this is just a black lip liner that I got from the hair store. It's called NK Makeup in the color black. So, one of my favorite lip combos, uh -oh, it, it includes putting on black lip liner. I don't know. I usually do matte lips, but today we'll do something different. So I have the Forever Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Choco Craze. I'm gonna put this one on first. That is pretty. Super pretty. And then we're gonna go in with another Forever uh, Matte, which is called Honey Bunny. I'm just gonna do a little bit. You know what? I was gonna do. I don't know. I kind of like this matte look. I'm gonna leave it alone. We're gonna go with the matte look because it's pretty. I like it. And then whatever I'd wear. This kind of look. Oh, let's go for the bigger hoops. Alright. So, I'll give y'all the final look once I get dressed. Be back. 